Uh, on the discussion board, we're discussing the importance of mechanics that uh, first accelerates the bat head rearward from the launch position. Now, I refer to this mechanic as THT because uh, it is a, a torquing action, and we can get into how it's applied later, but I thought by showing uh, some batters that exhibit the mechanic uh, compared to a few that don't, uh, we can see the, the, the uh, difference and therefore appreciate why it's so important. So I'm going to start off here with Petroya. Uh, he weighs about 175, 80 pounds, and therefore he's going to have to really take advantage of, of good mechanics right from initiation uh, to produce the bat speed he does. So I'm going to draw in a line here. We'll draw it right down through the bat, down into here. Now that's uh, about his starting position. Then I'm going to cycle him forward now to to uh, the first four frames. Uh, now we're looking at him here in uh, 60 frames per second. So his initiation time would actually be the first four frames. When we're looking at batters in, in uh, 30 frames per second, that would be probably about the first two. And that's how long it takes normally for the back elbow to lower down to the side. Well, we see that in most all the hitters. So let's take him forward here. There's one two, three, four. All right, now he's uh, uh, elbow basically is lowered and the, and, the, and the initiation of the swing has been accomplished. And uh, let's take a look here now. If we draw a line up through here, that's about how far his bat deflected uh, rearward, or in other words, the rearward acceleration uh, during initiation. Now let's take a look. We can even get that angle there now and this first one here. So I'm going to put in a line here. All right, down. Uh, like that, then we'll see about what angle he's got there. I uh, notice here, here it shows about 109 degrees, and that, that's about normal what we find in, in most all of the very best hitters. It's going to be somewhere between 100 and 115 degrees. Uh, now this is Chase Utley, and I've already drawn in the uh, the uh, starting point and, and uh, where the elbow, uh, where the bat was when he elbow lowered to his side here, or the first four frames again. In other words, just take a look. One, two, three, four, and he's down. And that's about the angle, uh, in other words, the chase gets. We'll look at another one now. All right, now this is A-Rod. Let's take a look. There's one, two, three, four. All right, then this is David Wright, and I think you can see, regardless of who we get, we'll always find that these these very top hitters will their, their deflections is going to be like I said in the beginning, somewhere around a uh, 100 to 110 degrees. Now you can measure out those angles. It's hard to tell exactly when the elbow is down. It can vary some, uh, but but I think you can get the idea. But anyway, there's one, two, three, four. All right, now then, uh, once again, you get about the same. So now let's stop and take a look at, at some hitters that uh, uh, basically I'm going to show you some boys that are in college or, or they're in, in uh, tournaments uh, uh, trying to get uh, in top prospect type tournaments uh, trying to get into college and take a look at their mechanics. Well, now this is hitter one, and he pretty well represents what I what, what I normally see in, in in most young hitters. And what we're seeing here is let's watch now as we go through uh, these batters. Uh, normally, are what we call what I refer to as top hand dominant. They're more or less lowering the elbow and everything to get into a position to finish the swing once the elbow is down. So let's look and let's see. Uh, here we go. There's one, two, three, four. He's down, and and that's the amount of of. of uh, bat deflection he had. I guess that would be somewhere around 35 to 40 degrees, somewhere in that range, compared to the 110 or 20, whatever we saw in the others. So now let's take a look at another one. All right, now we're looking at hitter two, and let's cycle him forward. There's one, two, three, four, and the elbow's pretty well down. And you can see the bat deflection that, that this batter had. Uh, here's batter three. Let's cycle him forward. There's one, two, three. Well, actually, he's down now. All right. But uh, anyway, let's back him back up here again. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, then notice from this point on, uh, he has pretty decent mechanics on around, all right, to making contact. But the problem is, when you get up here and you start here, and the first two or three frames, you're just letting the bat drag like this, there's no way can you catch up in the, in the last bit uh, with BHT as we discussed on the site there.
Well, here's hitter number four. Let's cycle him forward. And I think one, two, three, four, he's down. And, and uh, now this is normally about, like I say, what I see in so many young hitters. I'm using these uh, just as an example of what I find. But I find very, very few that get anywhere near close to the, uh, the acceleration, the rearward acceleration that we saw in those great hitters. Now, next, what we'll do is I'm going to go back in, an, in another video here, and we'll... Uh, a start showing Petroya and some of these and try to explain the mechanic that they're using there that we refer to as THT to, to really produce that, that acceleration, that rearward acceleration we saw.